Thank you, Father. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your holy name. Give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise that is due unto your holy name. Abba, Father, we worship you. There is no God like our God. There is no king like our king. Yes, Lord, you are highly exalted above the surface of the earth. You are highly lifted, O oh God, above all nations. And all creation bows and gives you praise. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. We join the heavenly host. We join all the 24 elders. We bow our knees. We bow our hearts. We declare that you are king. We declare that you are the beginning and you are the end. We declare that you are the Alpha, the Omega. We declare that there is no other God besides thee. We declare that you are Elohim, that you are Yahweh, that you are the rock of ages, that you are the great I am. Come and be the Lord over our lives. Yes, Lord, have your way in our lives this day. Have your way in our lives today and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Glory to God. I have come out here today, <clears throat> as usual, my name is Maida, um, here at Living Waters International Ministries, the city of the living God, here in Houston, Texas. Um, I have come out here today to, um, to encourage somebody with the word of God, um, coming from our message on Sunday. If you were not able to watch that video, please go back and watch it. It will bless you. I am sure. I am certain that it will bless you. Hallelujah. Because God preaches his messages using my mouth. Amen. But then I've come out here to, um, you know, to just inspire somebody today with a brief word coming, you know, and accept from that message. Okay. And I'm going to read from... Second Corinthians. I'm going to read from Second Corinthians chapter four from verse eight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter four from verse eight. We are hard pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be seen in our bodies. Yes, we live under constant danger of death. We serve Jesus so that the life of Jesus will be evident in our dying bodies. So we live in the face of death. So we live in the face of death. But this has resulted in eternal life for you. But we continue to preach because we have the same kind of faith the psalmist had when he said, I believed in God, so I spoke. We know that God who raised the Lord Jesus will also raise us with Jesus and present us to himself together with you. All of this is for your benefit. And as God's grace reaches more and more people, there will be great thanksgiving and God will receive more and more glory. That is why we never give up. Through our, though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. So we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on the things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will, own, will soon be gone. But the things we cannot see will last forever. Now, I want to address those people who have tried many things in the past. Who have tried to succeed in life. Who have tried to make ends meet in life. Who have tried to make it. Who have tried to, you know, reach to the top. 
and have failed many times, who have tried to write that exam and have failed many times, who have tried to get that visa and they have failed many times, who have tried to um, <clears throat> to um, invite family from back home to help them and it has failed many times. Those ones who have tried to, um, you know, to, to, to get that promotion at work, to advance in their career, and they have failed many times. Those ones who have tried to launch out into the deep, you know, invest money into something, and somehow you lost all that money. That business crashed. Many times you have tried, you know, to, to make it, to increase, to, to grow, to expand. Many times you've tried to conceive. It did not work. It failed. Or maybe you had... um. You conceived, but then you got you got pregnant, but then you lost the baby. You miscarried many times. God has a word for you this morning, this beautiful Tuesday morning. God says, never stop trying. He says, never stop trying. And do not let this this um this you know occurrences. You've been hard pressed on every side, but you are not crushed yet. And because you're not crushed. It means you still have hope to make it. So keep trying. You've tried to conceive many times. You've tried, um, you know, the, the, the other methods, right? In vitro and all of that. And you've still miscarried. God is telling you this, this morning, try again, but the natural way. He's saying, try again. Hallelujah. And do not give up on yourself. I hear somebody right now wants to go out and start looking for options to adopt. He's saying to you now, try again the natural way. Hallelujah. The natural way. He has not made you barren. Try again. That business you try to do, you invested money into it. I don't know how many millions to put into that investment, into that business. And everything went down the drain. And you're like, I cannot try anything anymore. God is saying, don't give up. That was just um, um, an, a stumbling block. That was just a way for the enemy to discourage you. That was just a stone thrown by the enemy to discourage you, an impediment thrown by the enemy to, to stop you. But then refuse to be stopped. So you can make it to the finish line. If you're going to win, you can never quit. If you're going to win, you can never quit. So keep trying. You've been hard pressed on every side. You may be perplexed. You may be, you know, confused. You may be in doubt, but you're not driven to despair. You may have lost some money. You know, going out to try that business. Don't let the failure of this one stop you from trying something else. The right one is waiting for you. Until you discover it, you can never be who you're destined to be. So keep trying. Don't give up. Never stop because the trials and the tests you're going through now would only make for a greater person tomorrow. It would help to shape you, mold you, and prepare you for a better and greater person tomorrow. And verse 17 says of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, it says, for our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them. The glory you will receive, the testimonies you will receive from going through this present experience, this current situation you're going through right now, the glory that will come out of it would vastly outweigh the trial, would vastly outweigh the troubles, would vastly outweigh and overshadow the memories of the pain and the struggles. So keep pushing and keep trying. Don't give up now. It's too late to give up. Too late to turn back. It's way too late. So keep trying. There is glory on the other side. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. But what will stop you from experiencing the latter glory is if you stop now. 
What will hinder you from experiencing the latter glory is if you stop now. Now I challenge you, do not stop. Keep trying. Even on that marriage, don't give up on it. Keep praying for it. No matter how many times you've tried and failed, keep trying. The glory outweighs the trial. The glory outweighs the trial. When you finally get to the other side, when you cross over to the other side, you'll be glad you went through this. And the glory, the joy would erase the memories of this passing trials we're going through right now. It would er eradicate, it would completely eliminate and erase the memories of all your pains. So keep trying. Keep trying and never give up. Do not let your failures discourage you. You've been hard pressed on every side. You've been hard pressed on every side. You've not been crushed. <laughs> You've been persecuted. You are not abandoned by God. You've been afflicted by the, by the enemy. But God has not given up on you. You've been afflicted with sickness. God can still heal you. So don't give up on him. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on God. Healing is just a breath away. Keep trying. Keep hanging on. Keep holding on. Hallelujah. The trials are small compared to the glory that awaits you. Now will you win the prize? I want you to be a winner. So winners never quit. Promise yourself today, I will win. I will win this battle. I will make it to the end. I am a victor. I am a winner. I never lose. I never lose. I never quit. Winning is my name. God bless you. If you're going to be great, you must not be afraid to fail. It's okay to fail. Tell yourself that. It's okay to fail, but then don't stay on the ground. You've been struck down. Now don't stay on the ground. Pick yourself back up and get back in the race. It is well with you. God bless you. I love you. Please share this video if it has blessed you. And remember to follow us online. Living Waters International Ministries, the city of the living God. On Facebook, on YouTube is Meta Dear Love. On Instagram is Meta Dear Love. Follow us on all the social media platforms, and you will continue to be blessed in Jesus' powerful and glorious name. It is well with you today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>